So you clicked on this video thinking, what is this? Is there dog making stop motions now? Not quite, let me explain. So a few days ago, I posted this question to the community tab on our channel. What looks better, option A or option B? At first glance, they do look very similar and you might even think that they're the same video, but each of them were filmed in a different way. Both stop motions are at 60 frames per second. One of them was filmed by me, the traditional way of, you know, pushing the car, taking a photo, so on and so forth. And the other was filmed by an automatic robot I built. Can you guess which one was made by the robot? And before I tell you which one it was, this is what you guys thought of the two videos. It looks like most of you guys said option A looks smoother. And guess what? Option A was filmed by the robot. Once I saw this, my mind was blown. I realized I had just created a machine that makes better, smoother stop motions than me with my three years of animation experience. And it saved me so much time. I was able to do other things like make lunch, do some homework, and write scripts for more videos. Now the next thing I decided to do was programming easing in and out, which can be considered the hardest thing to do in stop motion. In case you don't know what it is, it's basically just smooth transitions from the start of a movement to the end of a movement. So for example, with this car, it starts by moving only a small distance, and then the movement gets larger and larger each time you take a photo. After many adjustments to the code, I finally got it to work. Here are some of the first clips I got my robot to do this. This one is with the car easing in, and this is with easing out. The great thing about this robot is I can just set it up, turn it on, and leave the room and do something else. For this clip, I let it start taking photos while I went and had some lunch. When I came back, the stop motion was done. Can you imagine doing your homework after school while at the same time filming a stop motion video? It could save you so much time. And we all know how long it takes to make stop motions. <coughs> Don't be like this guy. What? I've only got three seconds? Oh. As you can see, at the moment I've been able to get the robot to animate things that are in a straight line. I have plans for improving the design so it will be able to move objects forward, backwards, left and right. Now at this point, you probably want to see the robot I have made. Well, it's not complete quite yet. I want to show it once I've added all the cool improvements I've just explained. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out the future videos about it. If you are really interested in this robot and perhaps you want to make one for yourself, write a comment on this video saying, I want the robot and leave a like. Thanks everyone for watching and there will be some cool stop motions coming soon. Like and subscribe or watch another video. Thank you.